Morning everyone. During this lockdown time, I try and make every day a bit better than the day before. And uh, today I'm gonna show you how to prepare a amazing breakfast smoothie that will give any day a massive nutritional boost. You're going to need the following ingredients. First of all, the banana is going to go in. Now, the banana is great for a natural boost of sugar and um, it has a great source of potassium, which control, help, controls your heart rate. So it doesn't look a pretty banana. It's got lots of black dots, but you don't notice when you throw it in a smoothie. Here we go. The next thing we're going to add is some more fruit. So I've got some frozen blueberries here and we are going to put them in. Frozen raspberries or anything like that are great. Um, frozen fruit is brilliant because it's cheaper than fresh fruits and also it gives the smoothie a really chilly um, temperature. So, um, you know, a warm smoothie is just yak, isn't it? So the next thing we're going to add is uh, our source of calcium, uh, some natural yoghurt. Um, so we're going to spoon this in and we all know that calcium is going to make us stronger, help our, bro our bone development. So we're going to spoon in this natural vanilla yoghurt. Okay. And then we're going to add some more fruits, but in terms of the juice. So we're going to add some fresh orange juice to give us a boost of vitamin C. Mm, okay. And we're going to add um, some something that's going to make us fuller for longer. So we're going to add some more fibre. <laughs> In it goes. Okay, and this is where it gets weird now. We are now going to add an avocado. Now, avocado is a really, really tasty um, fruit that actually, when added to a smoothie, um, doesn't taste of anything. It just gives the smoothie a really creamy, Texture. So I'm going to squish this in. If you're thinking at the moment, oh, this is not for me, then be brave, try something new. And if you don't want to try it, maybe you could even uh, make this smoothie and get another member of your household to try it as a test and get them to tell you what they think. So we're going to put in both halves of this, natural fats from an avocado, it's a great source of iron and iron makes us feel really energised because it helps our body um, produce haemoglobin cells that oxygenate our blood. And then we're going to add the secret weapon which is spinach, yes spinach. Now, um, you're not going to taste this, it's the biggest source of iron and you're going to, um, and it will give you a real boost. So if you're at home and you're feeling like you're constantly tired, it might be because you're anemic. You know, anemic, anemia is um, a condition that just means you're very, very low on iron. Iron comes from red meat, green leafy vegetables, um, and uh, girls suffer with anemia more than boys due to blood loss. Um, so, you know, think about how you're feeling at the moment, um, and you might need a big boost of iron. That's why Popeye is so strong, of course. We're gonna blend all this up now. <laughs> You're just hoping I get splattered, aren't you? Blend it up until it's really smooth and believe you me, even with all those oats and funny ingredients, it will become really smooth because of the magic of the avocado. 
Now, if you don't like a thick consistency, you can add more water or more fruit juice or even milk. Milk works as well if you want uh, to make it a bit more runny and you want more calcium. So here is my taste tester. She's a blindfold taste tester today and she is going to taste this and tell you all what she thinks. So are you ready, Phoebe? Yeah. So this is your breakfast smoothie, okay? Uh, we've got a bendy straw because we've run out of sweet straws and this is a reusable straw, so. <laughs> oh, she's going for a, a second taste. Oh my gosh, do you like that speed? Wow, and what does it taste like? Bananas and blueberries. Bananas and blueberry. Mmm. Now, can you guess what else is in that? Out of 10, what would you give that smoothie? Considering it is your second glass. Mm. I would say a hundred. A hundred! A thousand and twenty! Whoa, now what would put you off about trying that smoothie if you didn't have a blindfold on to begin with? I would see it and I'll say, yeah, that looks good. Is yeah. it the colour that you didn't like? I didn't like the colour, but I did like the flavour. Oh, amazing. So, um, it does show that we do actually pick the food that we eat with our eyes first. So, let's just show Phoebe, reveal, uh, what actually went in the smoothie. Are you ready for the big reveal, Phoebe? So, you were very right. There were some bananas, but they didn't look very pretty. Um, and normally, people throw them in the food bin when they look like this. But you have to think about how many miles these bananas have come to be with us today because uh, they're not grown in this country so food waste is a really important thing to consider. We put an avocado in that smoothie. Would you have eaten avocado otherwise? No, but she loves it in the smoothie and it does make it really creamy. Do you like blueberries? Yeah. Yeah, we love blueberries. They gave it a lovely sweet taste. Rain polish. Was it nice and cold because of the blueberries? Yeah, brilliant. Um, we added spinach, fresh leafy spinach. Oh. You would you eat spinach normally, Phoebe? Did you taste it in the smoothie? No, so that was an absolute winner. Uh, and we added orange juice for vitamin C. Do you, do you think that worked well? Yeah. Great. So you have a go at home. Maybe think of your own smoothie concoction with some adventurous ingredients. And if you do make any, please send photos in. Love to see your recipes and what you've been up to. Um, and take care, everyone. Bye.